Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Gonzo Airsoft. I'm Major Clanger. I'm glad you've chosen to join me for this video. I've been looking forward to putting this up for quite a while. So in the last video you saw us getting the repair kit from the Land Rovers. We dragged it over to the APC and now got it running. The handsome fella standing on top of the Land Rover is Scott Allen from Land Warrior. Uh, he and his team run the site here at Airsoft Edinburgh. The site has two of these uh, armour personnel carriers. It's uh, definitely well worth checking out if you're in the area. He's radioing into the other marshals, getting us to button up the back door, and then we've got to roll. Now our mission here is to take the APC from a point just outside our base here, right across the site. I need to park it up pretty close to the enemy. We've got uh, friendly forces uh, on each side of this fire break and they're going to be pushing alongside with us. Three guys in the APC, including myself. Uh, the other two boys there are uh, regulars at uh, the other Edinburgh site, NCIS. Now I haven't played at that site yet, but I mean to get along at some point and I'll make sure I get some video when I do. So here we go. Split up the zones into three. I'm looking after the front left. We've got a guy front right and a guy covering the rear. The ground is quite soft across this fire break, so Scott has taken us quite in close to the woods on the left hand side to get some foam footing. But even then, this big beast of a thing does get stuck. So Scott guns it some more and gets us moving again. I'm getting a bit of a battering from the spruce trees on the left here. But so far no contact with the enemy. Further along the fire breaks, you can see the two Snatch Land Rovers. Uh, the one closest to us there was the one that we retrieved the toolkit from. As we're reaching the end of the fire break here, we're now starting to push into territory which um, could very well be held by the enemy. as we pass this first Land Rover, uh, this final Land Rover, incoming shots, some accurate fire takes me out. Then a next volley takes out my, my colleague, we call in a medic, get this guy to get us back in the fight. So quickly bandages me up, I tell him to keep his head up, keep with some covering fire while I medic this other guy in. Struggling with the safety pin, we're both up. I'm in a position to start returning fire. Now I'm finding my trusty old G36K a bit unwieldy in this close confinement, so I get the pistol out. The pistol's a Simer. SIG P226 electric, 
not particularly good at range, but it is close quarters, not bad. Now, the guy's popped out the back, he's lobbed a flashbang. I thought it bounced off the back, but it actually bounced off the back and into the compartment, taking the three of us out. Now, the only rule was that uh, if a pyro goes off in the APC, then uh, that kills it, that's the APC dead. So we managed to make it probably just over halfway to the, the base before getting taken out. Bit of a lucky throw if I'm going to be honest, but hey, such is war. <laughs>